This is going to be the reading for those of you with life card number five, the card of Hierophant. Again, if you add the birth date and the birth month number to year 2024, you will get a number and then that number can be reduced to something between 1 and 22. The year 2024, all the combination possible will get us numbers between 5 and 16. So with this card of the Hierophant, it's going to be a year in which you are maybe going to look for a spiritual teacher. You are already yourself a spiritual teacher because this is the role of the Hierophant. It's somebody who has a authority on matters of faith, the teacher of divine wisdom, or serve as a bridge between the world and the new world. In antique uh, Greece, the Hierophants were the priests who follow some sacred uh, rituals connected to death and rebirth, especially with the story of Persephone. The card from Tarot is associated with uh, the sign of uh, Taurus, a sign of stability and uh, convention. That's somebody who's a traditionalist when it comes to faith, monogamy. And they are both committed to structure and uh, property, Taurus being also the one in the second house, the house of uh, money, possession of what you have. Also, spiritual values are very important here. And Taurus, as such, is ruled by Venus. That's why I have here a beautiful card of uh, Venus. The planet of uh, beauty, attraction, and of course, love associated with a day, Friday. So for next year, maybe think of the Friday as a, a special day for you. The colors pink and green. And if we have to look at some affirmation, I am open to feeling my radiant beauty. I give myself permission to nurture my body and soul. I welcome experiences of bliss and love. I will pick up some cards from the karma deck for you. But the cards will be so for Venus in Taurus first, and then we will read the messages, and we will also look for a house. And the house for you is the house number nine. So the messages when it's about the situation that you have about the what is going on, they are on three levels, physical, mental and spiritual. So physical, good times resulting from the productivity of what is to be shared. Mentally, pleasure from the practicality of long range thinking or travel. Because the ninth house, it's the house of long journey, science, art, vision, divination. And on spiritual level, the attraction of resources to maintain spiritual values. What we more or less said about the card of Hierophant. And when it comes to action to do, let's say, in uh, next year from these karma cards, physically, charm, art and beauty are the way to use the most direct way and do it in a big way. Mentally, enjoy the cost of the philosophies and laws involved and spiritual, cherish your beliefs as if it or they came from all there is. Beautiful. So with these numbers, I try to see everything in numbers. I'm going to use geomancy now <laughs> and I will try to explain how it works. So we have number five, I will show you. I'd say number five, I will put here five stones. It's an old uh, way of divination. People will work with stones of sticks or just points on the sand. So if you have five, you take any pairs or two, you end up with one. Then I thought of 
Taurus, which is the second month if we look at the astrological year that starts with April. Taurus, I said, it's the ruler of the second house. So then we will have two. Then Venus as such, if you like to work with magic squares and if you know anything about magic squares, uh, Venus has a uh, magic squares with uh, seven times seven. If you want to know more about it, I suggest that you can even try to make a sigilio for yourself from this magic square. You can find it anywhere, everywhere if you look the magic square for uh, Venus and then just take your name, connect the numbers that are associated with the letters of your name and you get a kind of symbol that could be a powerful symbol for you for next year. So then I said seven. Yes, then I take two and then we end up again with one. And then the last one will be the ninth house. And I think you got it already if we have an odd or um, even number. So we will have again one. So in the Geomancy, this symbol, one, two, one, one, it's called Puella, which is actually connected to Venus and Taurus. What a coincidence. <laughs> so it's definitely a good symbol for you. It has to do with the feminine energy, with charm, with harmony, maybe some short time relations for you next year nice trips in this uh, ninth house, uh, nice friends, everything is going to be nice, charming, beautiful, but nothing, let's say, exceptional. But that could also be something good for you because maybe there is going to be a year in which you realize that you are good enough. You don't have to prove anything to anybody, no need to do everything perfect if you have this uh, tendency a year to focus on the divine feminine because these are the times when the divine feminine is waking up and it doesn't need to be in a woman or only in a man it's just about this beautiful part of us love beauty harmony a year of harmony i will definitely wish for you and just Focus on this beautiful card here. If you take the serpent, it's an origin of the world in several mythology. This is going to be a harmonious year for you. And with this uh, card, I also got the idea of a reading called the bliss garden spread and this spread is perfect when you like to invoke the gifts of venus creativity love beauty and magnetism it will help cultivate a magnificent garden of delights in your life this spread will help you fully receive the bliss that is always here for you i will also use the venus deck i think in order to be able to do that I will have to clear up the cards that I already have so that you have enough space to see I will need six cards and then we will read the messages the first card it's about what energy will help me cultivate more self-love it's share the power, maybe the power of your divine feminine. Now, what energy will help me create more beauty? Have faith. How can I experience more sensual pleasure? Live in harmony with the mystery. Look, you have the serpent there. A time for uh, sexual power. How can I tap into my creativity? Surrender. What energy will help me to shine brighter 
with a radiant magnetism, letting go of shame. And what energy will open my heart to love, see the bigger picture. I truly hope you can see your beautiful card. Share the power, have faith, live in harmony with the mystery, surrender, letting go of shame and see the bigger picture. This could be also some keywords for you in your year number five. Thank you for watching. This is going to be the reading for those of you with a uh, year card number six, which in tarot is the card of the lovers. As I mentioned in the description, if you add your birth date and birth month number to 2024, you will get a number that can be reduced to something between 1 and 22. But for 2024, all the combination possible will be between 5 and uh, 16. So if your year card is the number of uh, lovers, you can expect in this year better communication like the Gemini, the card that is associated with the lovers. Uh, maybe you are playful or maybe you will become or you will meet somebody who is like this because the lovers are twin souls with a wide range of thoughts, interest and experience to share and compare. They are quick thinking, they are smart, they are adventurous and inquisitive too. Of course, it can have a lot of romantic connotation, but it's about kindred spirits. And I also see here a kind of union between the divine masculine and divine feminine. People who speak the same language that exchange thoughts and ideas freely and openly. Their love and affection for each other could just uh, as easily be platonic as uh, romantic. Gemini is ruling the third house, the house where the astrologers are looking for communication, relation between siblings, uh, elementary education, and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of speed and communication. I will first look at the beautiful card for Mercury, the one who is uh, ruling Gemini, the beautiful magician. And Mercury, as such, is connected with Wednesday. So let's say Wednesday could be a lucky day for you next year. The colors are silver, orange, violet. And some mantras for you. I delight in the dance of exchange that money facilitates. I open the pathways for clear communication. I am a storyteller and a meaning maker because Mercury is about messages, meanings and money. And we also know we have to keep ourselves from making big decision when Mercury is in a retrograde. It can also be the trickster. And because we have already Mercury in Gemini, I'm going to look at the karma cards. So Mercury in Gemini and I will pick up also a card for a house. Mercury, Gemini. And then the house number seven. And the house number seven, it's the house of <laughs> love and marriage, like a lot of people are associated lovers with love, but partnership and associations. So the messages for you will be at three levels, spiritual, mental and physical. Physical, many words resulting from the fluctuation of your partners. Mental, Many thoughts about or from communication about cooperation. And spiritual, the awareness of information to explain balance. And then as action to take at physical level, 
let your mind tell you how to use the quickest way and get a fair deal. Mentally analyze what is believed about relationships and spiritual communicate what you want to be known diplomatically. These are also very good advices for me. I also get that this number here number so yeah I will um, pay attention especially this one with analyze what is believe about relationship it's something that really is constantly on the back of my mind how people see how people deal with relationship what relationship really are how can you heal just have some people from the past and they say old because I'm also but I'm not old I'm wiser uh, but anyway there's coming back like some healing that was not uh, really happened so um, what is really believed about relationship and how can I communicate diplomatically yes we'll keep uh, an open mind and I decided for this reading to use Geomancy which is an old divination system where people will just make signs on the on the sand or they will use stones. And I will explain how it works. So we had number six. So I can put here six stones. And the idea is that we take out all the pairs of two and then we remain with two because otherwise it will be zero, it will be no symbol. Then we have uh, Gemini, which is the third house, but also in the astrological year, it's the third sign. That will be three stones, but as we said, we take two, so we remain with one. We had Mercury as the planet in uh, ruling Gemini. And if you know something about magic square, Mercury is the one with an 8 by 8 magic square. I will also use it to maybe make a special symbol for myself for this year using this magic square and then combining with the numbers associated uh, with the letters of my name. Uh, symbol of power for me to use it for next year so with eight you realize like for six we will end up with two and we had here house number seven which means we will have another one so we have two one two one the symbol from geomancy my cat agrees and the symbol for you will be acquisitio which it's a beautiful symbol. It's about acquisition, about uh, comprehending success, about receiving even a good figure. And it's seen as a sign of happiness and optimism. And it's not only for yourself as a person, but for a, for a group. We have the seventh house where we also had partnership. And the sign as such is associated with Jupiter, which is about uh, wealth and abundance. But again, for the humanity or at least for the group of people in which uh, you are. So thinking more of the whole. And with this beautiful symbol for you, I will go on and look off a special spread, which is called Mercurial Magic. A spread that is perfect when you want to unlock the gifts of Mercury. Quick money, storytelling, communication and travel. It will help you find flow, be more daring and become the magician in your life. So let me make some space because I mentioned the magician. I will go for Merlin deck which in my perception is the magician and then let's see the first card what energy am i embodying for the year to come the energy of the magician beautiful how can i access my inner magician 
So we are embodying, but how can uh, we connect with the magician? Wow, the body sir. So this is the one that built, like Merlin was powerful enough to build a castle. So the question was how we can connect with our inner magician. I think it's to trust. Look, here's the dragon. And next year is the year of the wood dragon. So it, I see that trust that you are a co-creator of uh, the reality and then the magician in you will arise and take action in constructing your dreams and your project. Use imagination and creativity and even if it seems that is a long way, you will be guided on your journey. Then, what will help keep me grounded? Vivienne, the partner. Wow, maybe a balance between the feminine and the masculine energies. Whoever, it's the kindred spirit for you. What will help me flow quickly? The sacred fountain. Wow, the water. I will just say be like a salmon, the sacred symbol of the ruid that can also go against the water to fulfill his journey. I think just trust the journey and this sacred water, it will take you where uh, you have to be. What will unlock the gift of money? I don't know this, the name of this bird in uh, English. Le Mer Blanc. This bird, it's the one singing when the evening comes. It's like opening the gates and it's a messenger. It's also a symbol of metamorphosis or she sings when the cycle end, ends, the day and the dark comes. And I will say pay attention to the sign. Believe that everything is in a cycle. So trust that the abundance is coming and there is enough for everybody. What will unlock the gift of storytelling and communication? The metamorphosis. It's just a time for us to become the butterflies. Speak your truth, I will say, and find your own voice. Allow yourself to change. What will unlock the gift of being daring? The raven, which is also a messenger, the one that brings the light and he can travel from world to world. He knows about rituals, magic, and he is in alchemy, a symbol of transmutation. Because it asks, how can you be more daring? I think this is a very good symbol because he dared to travel between uh, worlds in different moments when you feel you need to be more uh, daring. Just uh, think of this powerful uh, raven. And the last one would be, what will unlock the gift of travel? Oh, that's Arthur. Wow, I just <laughs> spent a week in Edinburgh and there was a place called the seat of Arthur. I even made a photo of myself halfway because I couldn't go up to the seat of Arthur as much as I wanted. And I gave up halfway, but I, I still felt that I fulfill my, my purpose of feeling there, being there, uh, feeling the energy, dreaming that I'm in Camelot. My daughter went up and she made photos there, but there are different ways of traveling. You can also travel with your thoughts. And for me, it's like when you feel the energy of the place, I can just go there if I, if I want. Sorry, that's my cat who's also traveling somewhere in the cupboard now. These were your cards. Beautiful being the magician. Of course, a lot of druid influence here in this beautiful deck. I wish the best for you for the year to come and thank you for watching. This is going to be the video for those of you with the year card number eight, the card of uh, strength. As is also mentioned in the description of the video, if you add the birth 
date number with birth month and with 2024 the number you get can be reduced to something between uh, 1 and 22 year 2024 all the combination possible are numbers between 5 and 16 so you get the number 8 and that makes energy of uh, strength something important for you for the uh, next year this is the card of uh, courage and self-discipline also of course courage and determination even when the obstacles are uh, quite uh, difficult and a confidence and a calm that comes from inside that can overcome the fear she looks here like she is not afraid but maybe she choose not to be afraid and because she respects also the power of this uh, wild creature and she learned to stay calm even in front of uh, danger some animals are <laughs> feeding themselves on fear like we say that the dogs are barking even louder when they feel that you are afraid so maybe she just refused to show any kind of fear in the old decks, this uh, strength card was called fortitude, which is an uh, important virtue together with temperance, justice and uh, prudence. The card as such is associated with Leo. Now that's a generous, warm, dramatic, magnetic, optimist uh, person. And Leo as such is ruled by the sun. So I have here a beautiful card of the sun, which this time it's not going to have a lion, but it's going to have a cat. The sun as such is associated with a day Sunday. The colors are the gold and the yellow and some uh, mantras for you. Each day I shine brighter and brighter. I nourish my body with the gifts of the earth. May the golden light of my soul infuse every cell in my body. And I see in this card that you are really shining and radiate. And I hope you see this in this card, this cloud here making the sign of infinity, which is also like an eight. This is also going to be the number of the year, number eight. So we are ready to reach the infinity if we are in this zero point of uh, inner strength where we can be shiny enough and we can also see the light in others and i will uh, look at the karmic cards for you so we have the sun in leo and then we also need a card for a house the house for you is the house number five, which uh, I will say <laughs> uh, interesting synchronicity. It's the house ruled by Leo, the house of uh, creativity, creation, procreation, recreation. So you become more aware that you are a co-creator of your reality. In the next year if you are not already there the messages are at three level for a physical mental and spiritual uh, body physical things brought to light or light resulting from the impressiveness of your creations mental the gaining of respect for or from taking a chance on investment gambles and other gains and spiritual, the creation of self-confidence to create the power of love. And self-confidence, of course. And it, when it's about action, Leo is also a fire sign. Physically, act like a leader. Do what you want to and do it dramatically. Mental, realize the creativeness of fun, romance and making art and spiritual demonstrate leadership with the trust of a child i like this with the trust of a child trust in your inner strength like a child trust is inner wisdom 
and power because when we were children we'll still know who we are we grow up we forget so it's also a time of uh, remembering how powerful you are and for this reading i decide to add a symbol from geomancy for everybody based on the numbers that we have here so we first have the number eight and how it works this is an old system of divination let's say people will have stones or make points on the sand and then they will count we will take out all the number two and then you have here a two for your number the number eight then the sun as such also has a magic square associated which is six by six square you can use these magic squares to associate a number with your name and then using the numbers make a line in this magic square that could be a powerful symbol for you for next year so because it's a number six we will end up in the same way like we did for eight we will end up with two and then we had the sign of uh, leo which we said is in the fifth house but it's also the ruler of the fifth house and you also have the fifth house here so you will have number five two times and if we put five stones then of course we take two and two and we will have one so you will have two times one we have two times two and two times one which is from all the geomantic symbols the most desired because it's called fortune major and it's associated with the sun and <laughs> so it's really a great year for you to come i'm really happy i'm going to look for people who are having number eight this symbol you will experience success happiness you will feel protected you will just feel your inner strength you will just feel good you will have self-confidence uh, your wishes will come through you also have a good year when it's about wealth you did work hard for these results it's not that everything is coming easy to you but you will meet the right people at the right time on your path the conditions will also uh, help you there will be the right condition to align with a success in whatever you are uh, doing your inner power will become more evident like in this card of uh, strength you will just shine this self-confidence and i will say because i mentioned the infinity that a good chance for you to come in that zero point of uh, balance from where you can just be the creator of your reality because i just had a talk with my daughter in which she said that everybody works hard you need more than just the hard work you need also the conditions and i see for you in this year like <laughs> all these conditions are uh, coming in place for uh, your heart to bring the success you are looking for and i'm going to do a reading for you it's called the shine bright spread this spread is perfect when you want to tune into and support your soul purpose because yes you can have all this great energy indeed but you need to tune in and that's also the reason i'm doing this kind of readings hoping that people will just be aware of the energies that are there for them it's not that oh i have to do this and this or i'm predicting any future <laughs> it's more that we are the co-creator and i believe that and if we are aware of the energies that are available for us we can use it or not it's still our uh, free will imagine a golden light shining out from your heart and illuminating the whole world this light it's now on you i will use the priestess light deck with this golden light i think i will need to clear up here the first card it's about shine how do i want to shine out in the world go with the flow 
letting go, cleansing, receiving. You know that you can shine when you go with the flow. I move comfortably through the experience of my life. I release resistance and align myself with the joyous energy flowing freely through the world. This is the priestess of the waterfall. She wears a golden spiral of infinity on her headdress, symbolizing the power of purification and the release of negativity. Actually, I see here also the Nautilus with a golden ratio. Beautiful. So this is the way to shine. The next card is going to be about embrace. What helps me to accept myself? Adjustment. Looking back and moving forward. This card marks a pause in your energy, a time to contemplate what you've been doing and determine if any change would prove beneficial. Reflection and course correction now are wiser than charging full steam ahead. And this card was on the position of embrace. What helps you to accept yourself? I would say accept your past, know that it made you who you are and Based on this experience, just move forward. The next card is about vitality. What makes me feel alive? The twin flame, soul partner, eternal connection. I am open to finding a deeper purpose in my life and to find a soul partner who will share my higher intentions. I think this card is very clear. If we had a question about what makes you feel alive, we know that two lights when they join, they can create a stronger light. This is a great passion here that can be manifested in a physical relationship or just a project that is uh, compelling to you. Being carried for the brilliant beam of light is pure spirit and you are being blessed and guided by divine conscience. Setting boundaries, threshold protection, honor, I choose to make myself my own priority. I have the power to set boundaries and honor myself always. So this is what you want to share. You want to share your power with the world, but by having very clear boundaries. The priestess of the threshold holds up her hands with palms outward, projecting a field of protecting line before her. The strong and stately snow leopard who lives a solitary life in the highest reaches of the mountains, looks over her shoulder and standing guard. This card brings you a message of both caution and encouragement. It's time to take an honest look at the boundaries you set. How do you view your importance in your own life? Are you sacrificing your priorities and self-care to prioritize the needs and wishes of others? Are you putting up with demands or even disrespect from the people in your life. If it's so, put up your hands and say enough. And then we have three more cards for body, soul and mind. What nourish your body? What nourish your soul? And what nourish your mind? Beautiful. You have an 11 and a 2 and a 5 in the middle because we already had a lot of five so body soul and mind for the body opening heart deep connection water blessings gentle waves of love friendship and spirit are coming my way i am deeply grateful for the life-giving energies of water spirit friendship support fun unity play I open myself to the supportive connection around me. I join in the fun and joy that these loving friendships can bring. And this is also close to that twin flame, finding uh, kindred spirits. And for your mind, innovation and new creation. And I think you remember the house number five that was for Leo and on your Carmen cards was the house of creations. I open my mind to the pipeline of new ideas available to me now. I know I am capable of both initiative and follow through. This is like 
embodying all the energy and the same like this setting boundaries you see this power and then you are now creating beautiful sacred geometry with uh, your light with the golden orbs i just uh, wish that you make use of this beautiful energy that's on your uh, path shine like a sun in 2024 and forward thank you for watching this is going to be the reading for those of you with year card number nine as you see in the description if you add your birth date birth month with 2024 you get a number that you can reduce between 1 and 22 the number of cards from the major arcana but for this year the only possible combination will be between 5 and uh, 16 so if you come to the number 9 then your card is this beautiful hermit who is spreading the light follow the light the hermit is uh, lonely at the top especially when others are expecting you to shine a light of wisdom and experience to guide them too. It's not part of an ordinary civilization, but he does keep watch over the world from his hermit caves, where he maintains a collection of universal wisdom and learning. It's reclusive, but not exclusive. His followers know where to find him. He even holds a lamp of wisdom. Hermit is associated with the sign of uh, Virgo, which is service to others. And the planet that rules Virgo is Mercury. And I have here a beautiful card for Mercury, the planet of uh, communication. It's associated with the day of the week Wednesday. The colors are silver, orange, violet, opal. And some mantras for you. I delight in the dance of exchange that money facilitates. I open the pathways for clear communication. I am a storyteller and a meaning maker. It's the messenger, as we said, but it's also about meanings and money. And we can better wait with decision with Mercury's retrograde because he is also a trickster. And I'm going to use the cards of the karma for some messages for you. So we had Mercury in Virgo and I need to find a house for you. And the house you got, it's house 11. The 11th house, it's the house of friendship, hopes and wishes. And the messages for you are going to be on three level physical mental and spiritual like for the three bodies many words resulting from the perfectionism of your circle of friends this is at the physical level mental many thoughts about or from the analyzing of associations and spiritual the awareness of methods for the healing power of freedom freedom a big item inner freedom how i see the hermit and when it's about action you will have physically let your mind tell you how to do what you must do and do it for the future mentally analyze the details of your hopes and wishes that was the house number 11 and spiritual communicate the serving of others for humanity's sake yeah, so here you have a combination of the mercury with communication service to others with virgo and uh, humanity's sake with the 11th house so use the energy of this number nine and your wisdom to serve others and in this way to serve humanity and with these numbers that we mentioned up to now, the number nine from the Hermit and then the numbers associated with Mercury and Virgo and the 11th house, I'm going to look for the 
symbol from Geomancy for you. This is an old divination system that used to work with stones or with signs on the sand. And let's start with your number nine. So imagine that we have like nine stones. And then what we do is we take out all the pairs and then we remain with one. For um, Mercury, I was looking at the magical squares. You have for Mercury a special magic square, which is uh, eight times eight. You can even use it if you are interested to create a powerful symbol for you for this year by connecting your letters from your name with a number and then draw a line in this magic square and that's the symbol of power for you for next year. So if we have eight, let's say stones, we will take the first three pairs and then we will remain with two. We had Virgo as the sixth month in the astrological year. It was also the ruler of the sixth house. And we saw here with eight for six, we will end up also with two left. And for the 11 house, you already, I think you understand the difference between odd and even numbers. We will end up with one. So you have one, two, two, one, and this symbol is called Kelser. It's a time to learn from your boundaries, learn what is the difference between what you want and what you need. It's indicating a period of waiting in a way like the hermit and a time to pay attention to your uh, emotion. It's like not going further, but also not going back. And this is what my cat also <laughs> approves, apparently. And for uh, this Mercury as the planet for you for next year, I'm going to also do a spread called Mercurial Magic Spread. This spread is perfect when you want to unlock the gifts of Mercury quick money, storytelling, communication and travel. It will help you find flow, be more daring and become the magician in your life. Magician is the card in Tarot associated with Mercury. So use this energy of the Hermit just maybe to realize you are the magician. And the symbol that we mentioned is like you feel maybe trapped now, but if you understand the difference between what you want and what you uh, need, and you can create what is really needed for you. I have to think of a series from Star Trek that I saw a long time ago, and what really struck me in that story was that the starship met some uh, evolved spirits, and they were like checking the um, mind of humans to see if they are evolved enough to be telepathic because these entities, they were already communicated at a telepathic level. And then they said that this is a gift that if you are not able to control your thoughts, it's dangerous because everybody then can read your mind. Luckily, there was one person on the ship whose thoughts were clean enough. He was thinking of others, of the good of others, of the good of uh, humanity, let's say, and, and he, was the one who saved the, the situation because they decided there is hope for humanity if somebody has this uh, purity of thoughts. And I will say in the same way, if you are to be a magician and then you can just create magic and get wherever you want without thinking of others, I think it's a powerful tool, a magic wand, so you need to be prepare and to know the details of your hopes and wishes like you have here and then use it in the right way. Let's see for this spread I'm going to look at the messenger oracle of course because we talk about Mercury and the first card it's going to be what energy I am embodying right now. I think I will have to clean this up totally so I can have space. 
So what energy do you need to embody? And you have the card of make the sacrifice. And I just find amazing that it's 227, which is another nine. So if this is the energy that you are embodying right now, maybe the sacrifice is to take some this time for yourself. You will not achieve the outcome you desire if you are unwilling to act upon your intention. It is not as simple as wanting something to happen or believing that it will happen. You have to make it happen and to make it happen requires that you be willing and ready to do whatever is necessary, no matter the sacrifice. For everything you desire, you must give of yourself in return. The magician. How can I access my inner magician? Have courage. What will help keep me grounded? Honor Gaia. Of course, the connection with the nature. That's the best way to feel grounded. What will help me flow quickly? Reveal your truth. Just show yourself to the world. The real you be authentic what would unlock the key of money embrace the masculine energy the message was that you need to do things what will unlock the gift of storytelling and communication embrace the dark another ninth card wow a lot of people are talking about enlightenment but there is also an endarkment just knowing that we have this cycle of light and dark and then embracing our dark side makes us also understand other better. So that could be a good way to open up to true communication. What will unlock the gift of being daring? Seek your destiny. Such a beautiful card. I found this always such a beautiful card with the sacred geometry there. You have purpose and reasons for being. You could have one or even several destinies. Are you afraid to believe in destiny because others may laugh? Don't be. It could be as simple as taking a moment to look within and discover those things that you love most passionately and bring them out into the light. But you will never know if you are afraid to step through the doorway and see what's on the other side. Trust that everything you hope and dream of will be there waiting for you. You are exactly where you have to be. And it's also said that real trust in ourselves, it's to step in the unknown. How beautiful this cat is. It's also full with stars. This is the macro and the micro universe. And the last card is going to be what will unlock the gift of travel. So remember the Mercury was money, communication, daring and travel. Be patient. Maybe next year it's not going to be too much about traveling because you are the hermit here. You, When you seek your destiny, it's also a way of traveling. It's another journey maybe in the unknown. I really wish that these cards, you can see the symmetry here. You have an 11 and a 2. You have an one you have another 18 here i didn't realize honor gaia was also a nine you have another 11 beautiful cards for you and strong numbers even your house was a number 11 this is the magic number and nine is the end of a cycle i just wish you the best to make the best of the energy of next year and found your boundaries and just distribute your magic thank you for watching this is going to be the reading for those of you with the year card number 10 as i also explained in the description you can add the birth date and the birth month to 24 the number and then the number that you get you reduce it to something between uh, 1 and 22 so we have all the cards from the major arcana in tarot you have the wheel of uh, fortune as a card and this beautiful card from the white witch tarot has also a poetry it's called recapitulation we've been this way before i think i muttered to my friend indeed we are trapped 
they whispered back. We arrive back at the end. I am part wanderer, I am part rooted tree, shudder and strain at invisible chains that wrap around eternity, a chance mistake, a rip has opened in the seam. A vantage point that shows circumference and exit to the scene. The maypole rises from the dean to grab the ring. On this go round, the origin reveals the hole for the glory bound. The Wheel of Fortune, in the most uh, version of Tarot, it looks like a, the spinning wheel because it's the spinning wheel of destiny and uh, fate. It moves through time and space constantly cycling and recycling energy and matter. It's like a measure of our existence. There is an element of chance in everybody's life. What goes around comes around. It's like a kind of remember that what goes up must come down first. And the planet associated with the Wheel of Fortune is the planet Jupiter. I have here a beautiful card of... Uh, Jupiter, the planet of generosity, expansion, abundance, optimism, uh, associated with Thursday with the color blue and purple. And I can give you some mantras for this planet. I am open to receive money with ease and grace. I am open to knowing that I belong here. I am on the path to trusting in the infinite abundance of the universe. It's also growth especially on the philosophical level. It represents the process of expanding your worldview to travel to distant lands, friendship with foreign people and uh, higher education. And the greatest gifts are wisdom and success, long life, good health and all the uplifting experience the world has to offer. Even if it goes down, <laughs> it comes back. And I think we have here also the image of uh, or what's the name of the serpent who is uh, biting his own tail so we just go around in this beautiful infinity sign and with these cards I thought of using the karma deck to see what the messages are for you so we will have first the planet uh, Jupiter at this point in time, Jupiter is in Taurus. It will move in Gemini somewhere in the two, in 2024. So I will take for now Jupiter in Taurus. And I'm also going to pick up a house for you and you get house number five, which is the house of children and uh, pleasure party. What brings you joy, let's say. So... The message will be at three, actually three, at the level of physical, mental and spiritual. Good fortune resulting from the productivity of your creations. Mentally, blessings from the practicality of investment, gambles and other games. And spiritual, the granting of resources to maintain the power of love. Wow, that's a nice message. And if we look at the action part, we also have a kind of action to take three messages physically. Grow and expand. Use the most direct way and do it dramatically. Mentally, be positive about the cost of fun, romance and making art. And spiritual, learn or teach your beliefs with the trust of a child. So these are the cards from the karma and the messages. I hope you can uh, see them. And for this reading, I also thought of making a combination from all the numbers we have and to get a symbol from uh, Geomancy. And how is this going to work? Because it's an old divination way. People used to make signs on the sand or uh, use uh, stones like I will do now. So let's say we have 10 stones. I hope I have so many. And then <laughs> you will take all the twos out and you remain with the last two. And we do this four times and the other 
numbers will be from Jupiter. I look at the magical square of Jupiter, who is four times four. You can also check if you want and using those numbers, you can even create a power symbol for you for next year. So we have four stones. I think you got it already. We take two, we remain with two. And then uh, we had uh, Taurus, which is the second sign. If we look in the astrological year, Aries is the first one. So we have second uh, Taurus. And then you had the fifth house. And for fifth, you know, I think by now, what we do with odd and even numbers. And this it will be one. So you are geomantic symbol it's going to be two 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 one and that's the symbol of tristitia which also means sorrow grief a period in which you are not totally up but remember you also have the wheel of fortune you also have here jupiter who's going to move from taurus to gemini so what goes around comes around in a larger context, this symbol also talks about winning in the end over any kind of uh, problems with hard work. And even if there are some unpleasant moments, they are just caused by things outside yourself. Maybe you are just going to be confronted with situation that you thought you have control over. There is not necessarily about the situation and such, but how are you going to deal with the situation? Be, that's in the end what is all about, how we experience whatever comes. And my personal <laughs> advice is, I try this also for myself to see it as an experience. And there is something that makes me sad, then I'm crying because I'm thinking, okay, now I do have to experience this. Who said life, it's only, joy and with the cycles of the wheel of fortune we know that it's always ups and downs and and but not necessarily in a bad way you, if we choose to feel that this is just the experience if this is how we approach it there are not necessarily ups and down like in this beautiful infinity sign you can you go up, you come back into zero point, you go in the other direction, you come back on the zero point. You can also see them not necessarily ups and down, but you can also see them as uh, just experiences and different levels. And if you observe them from this zero point, your reaction can be different than real sorrow, or even if it's a sorrow, you just embrace it. And with this Jupiter card, we also have a nice oracle spread called the Wealth and Growth spread. This is perfect when you want to increase your wealth or when you are seeking spiritual or creative expansion. Because actually Jupiter in Taurus, it's about how to expand uh, your desire for abundance and uh, just simple pleasure in life. Focus on what you would like to grow, uh, the current state, the challenge, the expansion, the helper, two helpers and two actions. And I think in order to do this, I will need to clear up here. I will use the threads of Fate deck. The first card is about where are you now? Just get creative. You are seeking spiritual and creative expansion. So... That's maybe exactly what we are looking for now, how to get creative. To be a human is to be creative, but it is easy to lose sight of this. From a young age, we absorb cultural stigma around the arts and creativity that is impractical and should take a backseat in more lucrative pursuits. But the truth is creativity brings flow to our life. It finds opening. Without a creative practice, we can easily find ourselves stuck and uninspired. There are so many ways to be creative. You may feel called to rearrange your living space or write or take picture 
all of these things are great. Creativity is a way of life, not an activity. This card is asking you to look around and see the things that inspire you. What do you feel called to create or transform? Think outside the box. The challenge. What challenge I am moving through that will help me expand? The warrior indicates a need for strong fire energy and internal power. The warrior is a call to action as opposed to just a state of mind. It asks you to examine not just oppressive people in your life, but also the larger system within the world and then get to work. The warrior is not about complexity. It identifies where you need to stand up more. You may make those around you feel uncomfortable and defensive, but you must continue forward. And because this was the card of the challenge uh, that will help you expand, maybe it's more action and not just being in the thoughts. The next card is about expansion. What am I expanding into and where I am evolving? And for the expansion, you got here two cards, speak the truth and take risks. I think somehow with the warrior as, as the same, I think the messages are uh, very clear. You will find your truth. It looks like the sword from the lady of the lake, but it's about your own truth. It's not necessarily a sword for a real warrior, but it's the power that you have in you and that's your truth and then take the risk to communicate this to others as well like you see here a goat that goes very high on the mountain this was your expansion you can get there and you will have two helpers from your higher self to overcome the challenge and from your spirit guides from your spirit higher self you get a card of trust which i think it's very appropriate and from your spirit guides strength wow look at this beautiful tree strength strength that you get from these roots even if it looks like just a leaf but you can imagine the strength of the tree so these two are the helpers and then the action that you have to take one is a um, to catalyze a breakthrough and another one is to continue to evolve <sighs> it's a time to release release everything that you don't need anymore everything that it's not aligned with your truth everything that is a pattern that tells you maybe that you are not creative everything that you are afraid of because you know, you can take the risk and you can trust that you have help wow look at that you are the weaver see you have the sword when you speak the truth you have the same orobus the symbol of the serpent like you had here in the wheel of fortune wow we have the possibility to weave our own creation you have it in your hands it's just for us to use it and to create beautiful patterns. Unbelievable, what beautiful card. What is the action to continue to evolve, combine everything up to now and maybe use this year, whatever experiences it will bring to become more confident that you are uh, the one creating your own life. The weaver is the master of their destiny. Actually, this deck is called the Threads of Fate because each one of us has thousands of threads that, when combined, weave the fabric of our life. We can braid, nurture or severe any strand at any time. And in doing that, we are the weavers. This card urges you to take inventory of all the threads active within your life at this moment what needs to happen moving forward, which one need to grow stronger, which one need to be cut, which action can you take to tend the threads of your fate. And remember you had here release. I am just totally in awe <laughs> with these cards and the way they are telling the story. 
and I really love this deck as well. So I could tell you more about each card, but I will try to stay to these messages and I hope they are useful for you and you will have a great 2024. Thank you for watching.